Hi guys, welcome back to God's Glory. So it's Rosalia here. And thank you so much guys for tuning in to, in to another video. So, um, I haven't filmed in a while. I'm not, I don't know whether I'm used to being in the camera. I don't, okay. But anyways guys, let's do this. So this is just, I just popped in for a word of encouragement to whoever is going through the most right now. So, um, I want to encourage you guys with a testimony from me. It's a testimony from a few years back. So, um, five years ago, it's from five years ago. So five years ago, um, I entered into med school. So with the aim of pursuing my dream as becoming, for becoming a doctor. And to be honest, like, you know, sometimes when you are a child of God, there's just so much opposition because you have so much power in you and there's so much that God wants to work with you. Or I don't know for whatever reason that there was so much opposition towards my application. So, um, yeah. I don't want to make this lengthy but then um so before i even wrote my exams that um allows me to qualify for um when i was in grade 12 that was six years ago now when i wrote my exams that allows me to qualify for um med school i became sick like out of the blue i became sick i was admitted in the hospital i had to write two subjects out of the hospital so unfortunately those two subjects um it was myth and then it was geography geography i did well because that used to be my, one of my favorite subjects in high school but unfortunately with mathematics i didn't do well i had it on um extended and I, unfortunately i wrote it because i wrote it out of the hospital so anyways so with that said like i couldn't get into med school so what happened was um i had uh i applied but then like i got rejected because that's not the marks they wanted for med school so and then um i came back um december wrote my december exams and then i i did well or oh, it was october the exams that time i did well and then i qualified for medical school but unfortunately they had already rejected me based on my uh, august exams so marks so i had to come back to med school i had to come appeal and then if everybody entered med school you know how it feels like to appeal right it was a tardy process it was a very very long process so um i did that i went through that my appeal was cancelled i was not um, admitted they were like no they couldn't take me and i didn't know why because i had like the points like i wrote so well i did so well in my grade 12 exams so and then um fast forward like i came um i was asking god like literally lord just intercede for me so at the end of the day i ended up having a meeting with the board I was very ambitious guys i was a girl that had faith <laughs> that's all i can say um so i ended up meeting with the board and then um they decided that no you know what your marks are good like there's no way that you you, you are not here in med school so um they were like no we cannot take somebody with our marks and then like replace them with you but we're going to give you put you into pharmacy so the biggest miracle guys this is one of my greatest miracles that god has done in my life was um so pharmacy came and those were like uh when i did pharmacy i did pharmacy in 2017 yes that was my first year so i did pharmacy um and it was not good it was one of the bad years my bad years in university so i had so much going on um i became sick again like out of the blue i would collapse and i would have high blood pressure like there was just i just didn't know what i was doing i guess i was just so like in a bad space when i was in pharmacy so and then i ended up um failing one of the modules and unfortunately i had to go for um summer school for those modules for that module uh i had to go for summer school because i didn't i don't think i qualified for supplementary that's how bad i failed the exam so and then after that i went and then i came back and then i had failed supplementary exam not supplementary the summer school exam imagine after me working that holiday hard like working hard so i can pay that supplementary for myself and i i had failed the supplementary exam and then this was the exam that um determines whether i'm gonna transfer to medicine or not so um after i got my marks like i remember it was a friday um our marks were out and then there was like no we had to go get them from this um specific physical chemistry teacher lecturer at that point so i went to his office and he was like rosalia you failed like there's no way you failed in um he, he even told me my marks i think it was 46 i don't know it, it was low but then um for those who don't know you have to qualify with 50 you have to pass with 50 in order for you to make it so um 
you and you cannot be uh, promoted even if your CA is high um, if you didn't pass the exam so he told me no you failed with 46 I think if I, I'm, I'm not really sure it was in the 40s so I cried I cried and I went to God I cried out to God and um, I still have the mat that I used um, it's somewhere there um, and I, I laid that mat down on my on the floor and then I sat down and then I cried out to God um, I cried out to God on on that Friday that Saturday and that Sunday I don't remember what else I did but I remember like spending time on the mat on the floor and asking God to intercede because I knew that was not my portion I knew um, what God's will for my life and I knew that God's will for my life was for me to become a medical doctor because ever since I was young I had this desire put upon my heart you know so I prayed and I cried and I prayed and I cried to the point where I didn't even eat anything I was not intending to fast but I didn't have the the opportunity for me to go I didn't have the courage to go out and to go beer to go stand in the kitchen and cook i literally just laid on the floor like that whole weekend i would lay on the floor wake up sleep um, pray read the bible like that that was my thing i was like lord this, this is mine this is my portion like i'm not gonna allow the devil to steal this from me because like this was like my second opportunity imagine so um i i got uh and then that monday <laughs> i was very ambitious that monday um i went back to campus because I was in the hostel that time, you know, and you know, once you fail, like you cannot um, do the next year, you have to get out of the hostel and all that. And for me, I couldn't because like I'm on a NASFA battery and also like my parents cannot afford, like, I mean, if I had to work to pay for my summer school, then obviously there's no way they can afford my tuition or my hostel fees. So I knew that for me, it was not my portion for me to get out of the hostel to go rent or for me to repeat a year. So I went, I cried out to God and then um, I went that day, I went back to school and then um, the people were like now, you know, transferring, no, no, not the people, but like the people were now, you know, continuing with their year and then I just went to this, one of the, the doctor's um, offices and then the people said, no, the marks were sent to his office and I mind you, we all ha already had our marks because I called and you know, this lecturer knew me by my name. So I went there and I'm like, then he's like, yeah, uh, when I got there, the doctor was so excited. So I couldn't understand the excitement in this man's face. So he was like, no, um, hi, Rosalia, like your marks are here. Um, have you got your documents ready for you to transfer to so that I can, um, I can go with you um, to the faculty office so you can transfer to second year medicine. And I'm just like, okay, how do I break the news to this man that I had failed um, summer school again of one module and I have to repeat the module? I didn't know what to say so um, I stood there and then I froze and he's like um, what's wrong like what's what's wrong are you not happy that you're moving to medicine and then um, before I could say anything um, he said no come here um, you really I know you didn't really do your best but at least you passed and when I heard that at least you passed like I thought I didn't hear well and I'm like um, may I see the marks and then he shows me the marks and there's like a 52 percent there and I'm just like um, when did you receive this marks? And he was like, no, I received the marks on Friday. I think, I think he said Friday. Yeah, I received the marks on Friday, but unfortunately I couldn't give you the marks because I was not around. So guys, that was my big miracle. Like, um, I'm sure that God took like, uh, I'm so sorry guys for that. I'm sure that God took off time, ne? like to make sure that I am, I, I get where he wants me to be in a his supernatural way. You know, it was it was above the natural because there is no way somebody could have forty six marks and then from there on have a fifty two. So um, that's how I got my marks. Um, getting into medicine that was just the start of the journey. Like it was still a hassle. But anyways, um, this is where my testimony ends. And then I just want to let you guys know that. God is still God. God is still seated on the throne. And then if you are here watching this video, just know that your miracle is coming. Um, I'm not here to preach prosperity gospel to you guys, but I just felt like um, this video is meant for somebody who's really been going through the most, who felt like God is silent, who felt like 
God is not, you know, God is not visible in his or her life. And if that's you right now, like this message is for you, like God is still coming through. Your miracle is still coming. Um, and I usually like encouraging myself that God is in the neighborhood. That's what I tell myself. Like God is in the neighborhood. He will give you an answer. He will give you, um, he will give you an answer. He will, he will show you his um, ways. He will take you out of the confusion. He will, um, he, he will try to use you. He will make himself known. And then whatever he does to you, like he's preparing, you know, there's something cooking up for you. And just know that you have to continue trusting in God, continue seeking him in this time, continue preparing yourself for whatever you're asking God for. And then God, God will come through. Like this, this is the message that God will come through. And hopefully guys, like, um, I just want to thank you guys for continue, continuously watching my videos. And um, I just had to come on here today. Um, I'm still um, taking a break from YouTube. Unfortunately, I didn't let you guys know, but I have started with my exams. Or oh, I'm starting with my exams soon. And then, you know, I have that baby. I need to get this degree. So um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And um, continue liking, continue commenting, and then continue sharing my videos. Maybe it is for somebody who is on your timeline. Um, maybe this video might, you know, help someone. Maybe it's not for you, but you know, somebody is going through something. So give them this message as an encouragement. So with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll see you in my next video, which will probably be in November or December. Or maybe during this time um, as the spirit leads. But for now, it's bye from me. And see you guys later.